We got Losers 8s here. Look at all these papers in the chat. Updog on Diddy Kong and Cantaloupe on Toon Link. Updog it's really weird to see up Cantaloupe on Toon Link. Yeah, that's a really bizarre pick <laughs> uh, on both sides. One's just wanting to monkey around and uh, the other one's playing Diddy. I have a feeling, I, I don't know, at least in, in Smash 4, my Diddy knowledge in Ultimate is kind of uh, lacking, but I feel like, like Diddy kind of struggles against these goofy projectile characters, like Pac-Man, Duck Hunt, and Forge did well, and I feel like Toon Link kind of fits in with those well enough, like he can throw out enough stuff to cover high side piece and snipe his recovery with little effort, you know? Yeah, let's be real, if you have a projectile, you're goofy. Yep, so. but on stage, Updog's still doing really well here off the start, leaving it with an even game, he's just got to find some way. Sort of gained stage control back so far. He's had a hard time keeping it. Diddy does have, oh uh, you know, a couple okay zoning tools of, of his own. I mean, Peanut's all right, but obviously not like the arsenal of Toon Link. Yeah. So Diddy Kong probably a little bit better character overall, but in this matchup, we're interested to see how it uh, it turns out. Yeah. Diddy's oh, just shit. fundamentally really good. Like, he's got the confirms. He's got combo routes, you know. He's got... He's got the good moves, but you know, you get Say, put in a blender either way. Sometimes. Yeah. Say it's hard to fight against. I mean, both both these characters got a lot going on, but Banana being like probably the best, not the best, but one of the best projectiles in the game, and in yeah. such an easy item to just gain stage control with, use for kill confirms like we just saw there a second ago. So both characters a lot of a lot of uh, bags of tricks in their kit, and so we'll see what these players can pull out over the course of the set. Absolutely. Toon has got like he's got like six different kinds of like knives, but. Two, or, uh, Diddy Kong's banana peel is like the Swiss Army knife. It covers like... It's almost like what's better, a bunch of kind of like sharp to semi-dull dull yeah, knives, yeah, yeah. and then Diddy Kong has like some giant sword that's oh, like yeah. super... Rotten. Super strong. <laughs> this is Sparn and Jade, by the way, Paper. Yeah, my you, paper. you guessed it right. All right, so Cantaloupe's starting to run away with this a little bit in terms of percent, but almost losing it all to that down air. Oh my God. Able to find a way. See, and this is that situation right here like I'm talking about. You can snipe his up B, you can snipe yep. the side B. So much easier than a, than a character without a projectile. For sure. And Diddy's got, I mean, his recovery's good, but he's only got so many linear ways he can go. Yeah, see, and, there's, yeah. There's, there's a lot of mix-ups even. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. There's a lot of mix-ups and stuff he can do, but it's one of those things like earlier when you catch his jump and he has to commit to side B, then fully charge up B, that's yeah. when it starts to get hard. Potential to get caught for sure. I can't believe he lived that up uh, so He's living at 149. Caleb got to find a way to take the stock before he end up ends up regretting it. I know. I like, can, that was a sick bro. confirm by Caleb up there. So we got the up air in the blast zone. That probably would have worked a little earlier, but we'll take yeah. it when we can get it. Down and up, baby. Well done by Caleb. So speaking of edge guarding situations, though, did he a character that can really do that himself, too? You know, not banana off stage into down air, doing what else he wants. He's He's got plenty of ways to be able to find find kills off stage or yep. near the ledge as well. Fair kind of lingers for a bit, so you can cover uh, a good amount of vertical distance with it. Okay, weird. Oh, and see, this is where it gets awkward, but the double jump's still there, so not as bad. Loaf is so good at, like, sniping your aerial position with Boomerang. Like, he really he, is. He caught Hope. I think he kicked, or he just, I don't Did even he? know. He must have kicked, he didn't even try to up B. Did he? I was watching huh? Cantaloupe, I'm not gonna lie. Not the uh, way you- Yeah, I was too. Not the way you wanted to, to end it there for game one for Kendall, but still a lot of uh, time left in this set for or for Updog. Updog, be able to no. to find something here. Not also, less. how is Updog in chat? Can we just talk about this? Who is Updog underscore underscore? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And shout outs to Quill for the raid. We, we really miss you around here, Quill. You can come back sometime. We'd love to see William. you. It was just for commentary or something. Game two, I missed what stage we're going to, but it's the new one. Hollow Hello Bastion. Bastion. Okay, and so this Beautiful. is the mistake I think I made in my set two against Cantaloupe. I think Toon Link does really well on these like Smashville layout stages. Mm, yeah. Like that center platform makes it kind of hard to jump over his things and approach him in a safer way. Yeah, he can just position all of his stuff in a way that covers so much of that platform. See, and now we got, the good thing for Updog there is that the, the back air sends it at such a soft sort of upward angle that it really isn't gonna edge guard him too hard, but still racking up damage there. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't send in a, you know, you say harsh enough angle, angle, but, right? but it's good oh enough to put him in a position. Oh, no. Of, uh, okay, yes. Okay. This, I, this oh. Like, oh These players are oh going insane. They're I going for the. I can't even keep up with what's going on right now. They're going for the sauce oh back God. and forth, but no one's 
No one's getting Up lost there yet. Up turn on the jets. Ledge cancel. Oh my god. Okay. Bomb. A little too high for the fair, but going to be able to find the up smash off the air dodge. And Cantaloupe draws first blood here, game two. Yeah, trapping him pretty hard there. Double bomb going to lead into a little bit of something, but not able to get anything else going. <laughs> oh, clap, just, clap. He's just swinging, man. He's I mean, like Diddy has insane speed. frame data. He really. Like, he can press so many buttons so aggressively. Like, I don't understand. Like, I tried to play this character earlier in this game, and I thought he was decent. But, like, nobody played this character till Tweet. Yeah. Uh, but, like, he really has so much going for him still, which really I don't does. know. Like, I think the, the meta might have changed a little bit, too, yeah. to benefit him, but still. It's almost as if people, like, saw that they removed the infinite. Or like, well, he's probably just <laughs> not worth it anymore. But he's still fundamentally so solid. Yeah. All right. Get up on the ledge. And, and this is a situation where, you know, Updog has a lot of ways to take socks, including forward or off the ledge like that. But he's... Feet. Gotta, uh, he's gotta find a way. Get in once here though, and it's almost even. You know, one one good, strong Diddy combo is maybe reset, and he's getting close, but there's no such thing as even when you're hit by two link up air like that. The up tilt up air. Say so now we're getting cantaloupe lapping up dog in percent here. I wonder what's I wonder if there's something about the Falco or if he's just switching. I wonder what's going on here with the character situation. We've seen a lot of Diddies for some reason today at this weekly. Yeah, I don't know. It's I trying to think of something like Halloween related, but <laughs> nothing spooky about those. Beasts. Oh, oh, he saw his well. double jump, but that's still not going to be enough. And could that be a breath of life for for Updog here? His way back into the set. Dude, I, I feel like, I feel like Lowe's feeling like he's playing sore or something. Like the way he's like trying to up B kill off the side. Like I don't. He's a big low. fan of up B though. That's crazy. Yeah, so there's Updog just kind of. I don't want to say fishing, but he's looking for these like these combo starters, like these nares and these dash attacks, and just throwing banana a little bit. But but Kendall playing patiently aggressive. He's like in his space and finding ways, but he's not dropping shield for anything he doesn't need to. You know. Yeah. Up B not gonna take it yet. What was a wild up B to get back on? Yeah, I saying a little bit of a light punish there from Cantaloupe, Really, I think he probably could have free reacted a little better. Could have F smash maybe. Perhaps, but items in hand again. Say pity Whoa. one of those characters. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the dare, maybe. I thought he was, too. Now oh. Lope's got it. Oh, almost got Whoa. it. Say, and now Kendall, or Updog right back into it with only a 30% deficit. Oh, <laughs> a little bit too high for that to connect. Say, we got to see what he can do here. No banana. Ops oh. to go for the monkey flip and just falls a little short. Kendall will be able to use.